Guys, what's the craziest thing that's happened in the boys locker room that most girls wouldn't understand? We had an electric razor and had a guy to shave his head things escalated until someone took a chunk out of a different guy's hair. Realizing as a group we had gone too far and a major injustice was committed we all shaved our heads. Like 30 guys all shaved their heads in solidarity. We did the same thing when a guy got pegged with a rock in the back and it left a major bruise. Everyone took a rock in the back. The next week we had a pool party at school and all the guys had one big welt on the back. Our administration had no clue what we were going to do next, but worked really hard to make sure we didn't accidentally kill someone. A fat kid called another small kid gay, bullying him basically. The small kid then proceeded to go to the back, pick up the changing room hoover, and then chased after the fat kid trying to suck on his man tits. It was a good day till Mr. Hoves came in. Edit, okay for context this fat guy had been bullying this kid for a while and I think the kid just snapped. Although it was funny it was also kinda scary imagine this little 5 feet 5 skinny goblin child carrying such a big heavy hoover, while running so fast it scared this huge fat guy. Oh and yes he did manage to get it on his left tit. Left a nasty mark, that Mr. Hove saw. I was in high school, and I was getting ready for my soccer game after school in the locker room. But it was several hours after school ended so no one was around. Except this one other dude who was in the locker room. As I'm putting my cleats on, this guy crawls on top of the lockers, which have a few feet between them and the ceiling, and he pushes up a ceiling tile, reaches around above the tiles and pulls out a baggie of pot, and offers some to me. Being the young little freshman I was, I declined and he proceeded to smoke the weed on top of the lockers in the high school locker room three hours after school ended someone in my older brother's class stuck a matchbook on my brother's back right above his belt and lit it on fire as a prank i guess my brother got a pretty serious burn at the base of his back about the size of an apple he didn't tell anyone about it because he wasn't a snitch but as he was getting ready for practice after school in the locker room his coach saw it, and assumed my brother was being abused. And my brother not admitting how it happened, made everyone at the school assume the worst. My parents got called in, and when the teachers threatened to call the police on my dad, my brother finally told them what happened. The kid who did it was going to get expelled for you know, setting someone on fire. But my dad was an education is the most important thing in the world kind of guy, and went to bat for the kid. I think the kid ended up with 3 years of detention, but he did get to stay in the school. Messing around in the locker room one of my teammates was pretending to try and stab me with his keys, because we found out the girl he had a crush on liked me. Guys play fight a lot, I was holding his keys back by the keychain when it snapped, and before either of us could react he actually stabbed me in the face with his keys, went right through my cheek, but surprisingly didn't hurt. I didn't realize how bad it was, until I opened my mouth to ask why he was looking at me like that, and blood poured out of my mouth. Went home, put a butterfly bandage on it, went for a run with him the next day like nothing happened. It left a small scar, but it's covered by my beard now so not a big deal. In high school, one of the special ed kids was in the locker room before weightlifting class. Little dudes like, yeah guys you want to see this trick? Naturally, we are all like, yay man, we love to see your trick, what you got? The hairy childlike boy immediately takes his pants off, shits on the bench and slides all the way from one end to the other. The whole bench was streaked with shit and we all got excused from that class that day. Place stank for the rest of the week and we never looked at him the same. Sneaky guy. Had an all day sport assessment, so every boy in my year was in the boys locker room good idea to start with. Between assessments we were told to just wait in there. Five minutes passed, and next thing we knew the teacher walked in on two guys lighting each other's pubes on fire, and putting each other out by humping each other, whilst everyone watched. Not sure if the girls were doing that aha. Uh -huh. I think it's pretty common, but we had fights with towels in the locker room. However we got so good at it, we would actually start bleeding, if we got hit. 
A lot of girls, and teachers, asked why our t-shirts had blood on them, and one time why the locker room walls were splashed in blood. We just said it was like that, when we got there, and that we tripped or something like that. We had electric hand dryers and axe body spray. If you block the intake of the dryer, the heating element get really hot, because of the lack of airflow, and start to glow bright orange. Then, if you take your hand away and immediately spray axe into the intake, a massive ball of fire shoots out the exit of the dryer. The fireball is bigger, if you spray more cans at once. Anyone remember 30 hour famine? If not, it's a fundraiser a bunch of schools in Canada, do where the kids go door to door asking for donations slash pledges for like about a one month period, and at the end of it all, all the kids who took part get locked in, in my case, the school gymnasium, for 30 hours over the weekend without any food, anyone who lasted to the very end got some sort of prize as well. Well, this one dude bought a couple 20 inch pizzas the Friday prior, and stashed them in the ceiling tiles in the locker room. He then invited a select bunch of us every few hours, to eat some pizza with him, because 30 hours is a long time, you guys. So yeah, I'd say pizza parties would be one of the crazier things, and for some reason I just can't imagine that happening in the girls locker room. Someone locked the doors to the shower room from the outside and at least 7 links, the English version of Axe, bottles were thrown through the doors with elastic bands tied around them, so they automatically sprayed, before they locked the doors, some kid threw up afterwards, and most people being gassed found it funny, even the kid who threw up, being part Jewish I didn't throw up as I'm always prepared for this situation. They might understand, IDK but, I fought my friend in the locker room. Didn't last too long before the coach walked in, but it was a pretty bloody fight. At my school you got expelled for fighting so, when the coach came in we both said it was an accident. The coach could tell it wasn't, but he just went with our story. Oh, and we were back to being friends after the fight. Our school rugby team won some national tournament, and for some reason they all decided to shower completely naked with each other to celebrate. Then proceeded to have a go at me for being the only one, to not join in. I mean, they were doing some pretty raunchy stuff in there, I'm good thanks. If you swing that way then sure go ahead. After swimming pool, we made a free fight, with everyone, naked with no rules. Anyone knocked out, or who lays on the ground for over 3 seconds is disqualified. I ended up third, after being hit by a bench, so I can relate to every shitty locker memes, that have been posted. But I still, don't know why we decided to do it naked, and why we all agreed to it. My old middle school apparently had a fight club in the boys locker room. Lasted for several months before a kid shattered his kneecap, and had to go to the hospital. The secret finally leaked out. The students had code words they would use outside of gym class too. The teachers would see these kids all red faced and rough looking, but the kids would just say things got really intense in gym class. Proud of them. Oh and when I was in middle school in the locker room, one guy was showing off his one nipple hair he was able to grow, and we plucked it right out. You can't have nice things. The bullies would call other kids gay and grab them, and forcibly jerk them off. Well we had enough of it, so we decided to fight fire with fire. None of the bullied were big enough to overpower the bullies, so we had a plan. When the bullies started their gay routine we all started jerking ourselves off, getting ahead of the game so to speak. You can't force jerk a person who is jerking themselves. Well the bullies got mad, and started jerking each other off saying, that we weren't good enough to get jerked off by them. Long story short we all ended up ejaculating on the foreign exchange student who didn't speak English well, and seemed really confused. When I was in school, a lot of boys either kept their locks unlocked or set their combinations after changing, so that they didn't have to deal with it after class. This setup may seem smart up until someone had decided to take all of these open locks to then latch them onto the air duct. This had went on for days until there was an occurrence of 25 boys huddling around the door of the air duct trying to figure out which lock was this, since all of them looked the same. 
the kid was caught and had to clean up the locker room as punishment, which was a surprising reaction from the school, since that could have been suspension. I can't say this cannot happen in a girl's locker room, but this was my most interesting story about boys' locker rooms other than naked old men, dried up condoms in the lost and found, and the stains that are obviously piss.